Greetings, salutations, welcome to TFI. Apologies in advance for the glitchiness and the artifacts and the flashing of the webcam that will ensue. It's broken. I, I need to buy a new one. I've, I've inquired about a new one. There's one that I want. There's a specific webcam that I want. It's not for sale in Europe yet. It's about to be for sale. I'm not going to buy another one until I can get that one. So until then, this has to unfortunately do. Uh, so anyway, yesterday I done dropped that bombshell about how I stopped doing inventive tips and tricks, which, to my surprise, caught some people by surprise, given that I, I'd not done tips and tricks in two years, and it kind of came across that some people, that was news to some people. I've not done them in two years, mate. Why is this news to you? Uh, but anyway, it was nice to hear that some people were sad to hear it, you know, was that nice to hear? Ah. It's nice to hear people care anyway, I suppose. That's what I'm trying to say. But it is what it is. It's happening. And uh, it's not... It, it, yeah, it, it's it's happening. But um, as a result of that, uh, I decided that I needed to hide the tutorials on my back catalogue. Uh, I needed to unlist the entire back catalogue of my tips and tricks videos, which, you know, I don't expect everyone to, to understand the reasoning behind that. But... It's a, it's a channel identity thing. It's it's entirely about new people coming along, uh, a new person watching a new video that I do, looking at what else I'm doing, and then deciding whether or not they want to subscribe. I don't want that person seeing content that's not relevant to them and then deciding, oh, this channel's actually not something that I want to subscribe to because I'm not interested in that other stuff that he's doing. But a hey, cool video, bro. But yeah, you're not for me. So it's got nothing to do with being uncomfortable with the past. <laughs> you know, it's got nothing to do with being ashamed of the past or anything like that. It's it's entirely about reining in and dialing in the channel's identity. Uh, but a more impactful reason that I made this um, decision on is that those videos, the tutorials, are so old, they're now borderline obsolete. I can't guarantee that those tutorials even work now. You know, they were done on in a version of an inventor that's now end of life. So the majority of them were done on inventor 2015 through to 2017. That's end of life. You know, if you were to follow those tutorials, I can't guarantee the buttons that I'm clicking in those tutorials are going to be in the same place you know I, I can't guarantee the workflows will be the same it's 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 old you know things change buttons move around just slightly uh, and I, I can't i can't vouch for that you know i can't uh, i can't keep on top of that so there'll be some of that in it uh, i would imagine a lot of the audience who have already got will i imagine have already been back through the back catalog and seen what they need to see you know, you've already seen the videos, no reason to go back through them. Uh, and I don't particularly want any new people going back through them. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's that's one of the reasons, you know. Why, why would I want new people to go through those old videos at this point? That's, you know, that's not what the channel is about today. So I don't really want to promote them to new people. But it's happening. Uh, you know, people are coming across them. They're being found. And... Uh, and people are trying to engage with me on them. So, yeah, it's best that I hide them. But what I can do, and that's what this video is about, is if you go to my main front page of my channel, if you go to the playlists tab, there's a playlist called Legacy Unlisted CAD Tutorials Tips and Tricks Videos. If you go into that, all my tutorials are in one big playlist. All 222 of them. I've, I've excluded quite a lot of videos from the back catalogue which weren't really tutorials. There were, uh, like... How oh look how fast Revit runs on a solid state drive you know back in 2015 when solid state drives were just you know not everyone had them <laughs> just those kind of videos I used to do so these are just the, the the tutorials so they're all in there just dumped in one big playlist I'm not breaking them up into separate playlists like drawings and parts and sheet metal and whatever uh, it, it's just one big this is my tutorials this is what I used to do they're the all are take it or leave it kind of playlist but they're there so you can. You can look at them, you can link to them if you want to, you can watch them, they're available. You can still get at them. They're just not searchable on YouTube. They'll not come up in any search results. What I will say though, just in case anyone sees this and wonders, on the main videos tab on my channel, right down at the very bottom, I've left, I don't know, I don't know, I haven't counted them, but maybe 10 or so of my main hard-hitting flagship tutorials up. And I've done this for a couple of reasons. One is that these are well embedded and cycled around YouTube's search algorithms. So they're still being found by people daily. 
you know, how to get started with sheet metal, 200,000 views. This is getting seen daily by people. So I don't re and it's still relevant. So I don't really want to pull that away when it's a good tutorial and it's still helping people. Um, the Bolt the Connection one, the Studio one, Learn Inventor in under an hour, the Roller Chain, that one, you know, they're right at the very bottom. They're literally now the oldest videos on the, the channel history tab. People who look at my channel can now scroll at the bottom. They'll look at it and go, oh, that's what he started with. He doesn't do it anymore. Those are the oldest videos. So I'm cool with that. I'm happy to leave those in. So, yeah, we'll leave those around. But the rest of the videos are, you know, it's just a mishmash of other stuff I was trying out. You know, they're not tutorial-based stuff. It's just things I was experimenting with. You know, Render Wars, uh, talking about Autodesk, bits and pieces, 3D CAD my stuff, you know, bits and pieces. And then uh, the more I look at my back catalog, the more it's pretty apparent that my channel has never really had a solid identity. You know, one day I'm doing... You know, what the what hands on the holy grail of rendering, I'm talking about RTX, you know, and then I'm doing a a, a, tut a tutorial on Autodesk V-Red, and then I'm doing an Oculus Rift versus HTC Vive video, and then I'm talking about Autodesk Showreel videos, you know, and then I'm doing an Inventor Woodwork video, and uh, it's, it is all tied into Autodesk, and I, I know the theme, the theme is it's Autodesk stuff, it is all linked into that. But I don't know. I think I need to kind of put a label on what this channel is about. I don't know if that kind of variety has a label. It is very mishmashy. And I'm happy to do all this because all of what you're looking at here falls into my skill set. Uh, I just don't know if the audience that watches each one of these individual videos has a crossover to the other videos. You know, am I unique in being interested in all of these things or are there other people that are interested in all these other things? That's the bit that I've always struggled with, but I don't know. Um, I'll just keep going and we'll uh, we'll see where things head. But yeah, thanks again for your uh, your support on yesterday's video. Uh, I, it, it's appreciated. I've left the tutorials up for those who are sad. Uh, you know, if you do want to still watch them, they are there. So thanks again. And I'll see you in the next one, whenever that is, and whatever that is.